Okay, better get back to it then. Yeah, we're back with the teardown long play. Pretty great game. We had a hell of a heist last time. Took a while, but we managed to 100% the level. And I think we're going to try to 100% every level. Why would we not? I said I didn't want to grind it out, but really doing anything short of getting 100% on the levels, at least in terms of the missions, uh, would feel like a cop-out. I would quite like to find more of the treasures hidden around, but I don't want to dig up every part of it. If you know or suspect where treasure is, just let me know and I'll go and check for it. Right, so I want to grab myself some more flanks, because in the last level I was severely hampered by a lack of them. And we need to go and check out our mails and our missions. So, the artwork is gone, we're the one that stole it, but the claims adjuster at the insurance group wants us to go and return them. Over at the Mariana, we also have a tulip mission at Mariana. Tulip comes before that, so I think we'll get that one done. Let's che check and see what that uh, mission was all about, though. Tooling up. I need some tools. Anton says he's heard about us. Construction site, new dock, high-end tools all over the place. Nah, I like the sound of that. Let's go and steal some tools. Looks like minimum two to win, or minimum four to win. I don't know which side is optional and which one is not, but we're going to go for all six. Let's do it. Did you already get the banana from home? I wasn't aware there was a banana at home. Is it worth money? If so, let me know, and I'll go get it. Stealing tools is a special kind of evil. Well, what people used to do in, um, in the construction places were... Uh, they clearly leave their tools out, but on the last day, they just take them all home with them. And then, when they come back, they'd say, Oi, all my tools are gone. And then they'd claim for that off the security. Nasty, rotten people. Okay. What are we doing here? Uh, any word on what happens to the VOD? It should be on YouTube before the end of the day. It's worth the money. Go down the furnace. Thanks, weapon. We'll give that a check then. Down the furnace. When you say down the furnace, I mean, I, I do need more money, so do you mean down this furnace? Or do you mean down the kind of outdoor furnace? Oh, I even blew this up earlier. Oh, dang. It goes deep. Where's my banana? Here's my banana. Six hundred dollary dues worth of banana just hiding down here on some kind of weird pedestal. Of course, now I'm stuck here. I could just restart to get out, but perhaps I could put my planking to work. Not really what I was looking for, plank. But I could do multi-planking. There we go. That That is a hundred percent what I should have done to get up that slope in the art thing, instead of trying to jump up. I didn't even consider putting two planks on each other. Anyway, back to that mission. Thanks for the $600. I should invest it, actually, shouldn't I? Give myself a bit more planks and make them a touch wider and longer. If only it was that easy. Let's tool up. Why do people keep asking, is this Minecraft? Is this some kind of running joke with the game? If there are more things to be had in this map, I don't know where they are. I grabbed the thing, the antique compass that was under there, which was worth decent money. And I grabbed the cheap sunglasses and emptied the ca cash register. It's as good as I know so far. So... There are four primary tools that I need to get. And there are a couple of extra targets. It's dotted all over the place. I sincerely doubt I can go all the way around here in the time allotted. So, we're going to see if any of them can be brought closer to our destination. Still handles better than some GTA clones I played. Is that an ice cream machine? Can we steal anything from within? Oh man, can we just steal the whole ice cream machine? Might be something like I could level the roof off of this thing and carry something in it, like we did with the car in the carjacking one. So what do we have here? It's just floating around here. 
but if I found a way to move the crate itself, or the whole thing it's floating on, we'd probably be able to weak you over to the end, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. The slight complication is that it's boxed in here, but I said slight. This is why I've got a blowtorch. I wonder if I can move this whole thing now or if it proves itself too large for me. Don't get out of here, get down into the water. Fortunately, heavy things sink quite easily. So it's no problem just to put it all down to Davy Jones' locker. Not sure how I'd feel using a blowtorch while just perilous, perilously floating around here, but that's opened us up, so now we're going to bring you back to home base. Not the DIY store. I'm going to save and save often. Is there a hotkey for that? I mean, that would be useful to, uh, to just smash. Quick save? No quick save. Okay. Well, it's no skin off my nose. Oh, 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 I was attached to the post there, but it doesn't matter. It's gone now. It's okay. Ship's still seaworthy. She's not taken on water, so it's okay. Let's keep you nice and close there. And now we're going to plank you. Plank to you. Plank to you. Now let's go. Come with me. Where's my exit vehicle, anyway? It's you? Alright. Oh, the planks couldn't hold. Do I need more planks? Maybe I just need to be a bit more delicate, or maybe it just really does not like turning. I think turning put a bit too much strain on them. Am I turning at all? Maybe. Oh. Not sure I'm going to be able to turn this in time. Can we back it up a bit? Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Plan B. Pushy pushy, although this uh, boat does like to dissolve on contact with things. Not much left of this boat, I'm surprised it's not taking on water. The planks seem pretty elastic to me there, barcode. Alright, let's go. We didn't hear the clearance for this, but if I can just get you a little bit closer. A daisy. Good thing my shotgun doesn't mind being waterlogged. Vehicle still technically able to sail. The best kind of being able to sail. I think this is just the right angle to shove it in the correct direction. But without destroying the the crate, because if I destroy the metal container, it's going to sound the alarm. Yeah, this is the real unsinkable ship here. 
As long as I can get you next to the escape vehicle, that is one out of six taken care of. And as I was saying before, anything that you can get to your escape vehicle without sounding the alarm, or even just pick up without sounding an alarm, is a freebie and should definitely be taken first. Which one's the escape vehicle? That is. Um, oh god, there's not much left of my poor vehicle here. Let's save. Hope it doesn't take on water. It certainly looks like it does, but don't be fooled. I need to get rid of this here. I feel like some kind of punchline to be had here. Something about peer pressure, maybe? Get down, get down. I want a sledgehammer so bad now. Between this and Rogue Survivor, sledgehammers are just so cool. Speaking of which, we're gonna have some Rogue Survivor tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. I just can't resist. Got it all set up for some murder bingo, hopefully with less crashing. And uh, more people actually getting their their bingo picks. Okay, you served me well, Boat. I'll leave you to retire here. And now, just as we go for the escape, we can pick up those tools, and we're good to go. So save and save often, and consider the next thing we have to go for. So that saves us a trip all the way down there, which is lovely. Now there's a question about you and you. We'll check out both. Sledgehammers and Rogue Survivor, I remember you damn bass. So what's the story here? If I detach you, it's certainly going to sound the alarm. I mean, I will happily demonstrate. Happily demonstrate? What is this thing made of? Happily demonstrate? Okay. This is some kind of obsidian pillar here. Hmm. Impressive. Okay, well I won't be happily demonstrating. I need to go and pick that one up before the Great Escape. What about the other one? Anything good in here? What a waste of time. There was a fairly long trucking stream last night, Rhino. I enjoyed myself. Pretty sure I already searched here for valuables. Yeah, no, let's, let's not let greed consume us here. I'm here for the objective. Be like Hunk. I think under here, or under something like that, was where I found the... Um, found the ancient compass thing. So, I have a funny feeling and it is just a feeling, that I can pick this whole thing up. I want to somehow drag it over there. Sadly, that's kind of getting in the way, isn't it? Right, well, if I just use my superhuman strength, I reckon I could shotgun away this wall. And throw the whole thing down. Get rid of debris. Debris is the enemy. Debris cost us so much time driving the cars around in another mission. So that was alright. Not too expensive than the shotty shells. And again, just using my insane gorilla powers. We're just going to throw a mobile home down here. Well, an immobile home. We need to get it further. Come on. Alley-oop. Maybe I can get it over this this time. Did land on a bench, so it's already a bit far up. Come on. Up's a daisy. Up's a freaking daisy.
Got a lot of shotty shells here. Get this useless debris out of here. Right, you know what? Plan B. We go for the Helden plan. You, there we go. Love it. Well, I was thinking about using the forklift, and maybe I still will, but for now, I'm going to use you. Something to hook the arm, right? I think it's space. Right, you're coming with me, sunshine. Once again, not setting off the alarm makes it a freebie, although it is dangling. <laughs> if there's any pressure put on that, it's going to snip it away from the alarm, and then I'm going to be in deep doo doo. So, uh, any pressure? <laughs> any pressure? All right, calmly does it. Mm. Yoink. Yeah, that's not happening. Ah, where, where did I save actually? I'll crack him back here. Right, we'll do it the Helden way then. Hang on, is there a way to drive up to here? There's certainly a ramp here and here. I'm not really sure the forklift is going to get up here. But not sure just means hasn't tried yet. Let's give it a go. Uh, let's cut out the middleman here. Mm, it'll do, I guess, but no. I want this thing completely detached. I don't want it getting in my way. There must be something of value in that building, but heavens knows what or where. Ah, ah here we go. The Helden Mobile seems a little wide for getting up those very narrow stairs. We can try regardless. Massive chunky wheels like this, surely we can make up for the lack of width. Ah, right. Thanks to the forks, I think I'm actually better reversing up here. Otherwise the forks are going to get stuck on that. No, actually I can just raise the forks, can't I? <clears throat> Easy does it now. Nature doesn't know any better. Well, this blows. Oh no! 
The stairs! We needed those. Hmm, well that doesn't work so well. Okay. Secondary thought, what if... What if the forks for the... Oh, ooh, ooh, I think I've dented my forks now. That's not gonna work. Okay, well, this forklift idea was insane to begin with. But I do need to bring you back out now. It looks perfectly suited for the forklift, though. Maybe there's another way to get the forklift up here. Maybe I could use a crane to get the forklift up here. No, I think the forklift's a little too deep for that. Ah, oh, well, what a bummer. Alright, down you go. You know how this works. Oh, that's good. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Well, it was good until it wasn't. I wonder if I have the wherewithal to... Ooh, clip into the building. Oh, oh snap. Right, well, that's okay. We can crane the thing over this time. I think a plank ramp could have worked, but... You know me and the planks. Didn't work out so well on the other level. I feel like there should be a way to extend this thing. Well, if there is, I'm not seeing it, sadly. Oh no! Oh, I needed that! Oh, okay. All right, alternative approach. Come with me. I don't need no wimpy hook. Let's, uh, let's not smudge it up from here, though. Don't worry, it was just a little joint in the crane that was made of Chinesium. Everything else here. Is made of the highest quality. Now, what did me in was falling off that little little bit of ledge there down to the to the pier. So let's not do that this time, and let's just let little bandit fall gracefully. Brilliant. Now I don't know if I'm going to need this crane or not, but I'm just going to assume no and give it a burial at sea. Magnificent. Okay, now you are just right here, ready to be grabbed at the end. So that means that two out of our six objectives are freebies. Grab and grab and go. Easy. Shouldn't take more than a few seconds. What else needs to be gotten? There is you. But that means one, two, three. If I just do whatever I do over here, I can just drive and go one, two, three, and gone. So really, most of the work should be done. Look at the mess you've made, Helden. Let's see if we can't find some use for you yet. In case the joke is lost on anybody, I'm calling the forklift Helden because we have a forklift instructor in the community by name of Helden, and he does some excellent streams, but the fun part is to try and make him go on a tangent about forklifts during the stream. Oh, the, oh okay, something's in here. In the electric house, there is a high-speed battery charger. Let's investigate further. Many ways inside, but I'll take the simple way. Then I'll take the slightly less simple way. 
Now where's my high speed electric battery thing? Hmm. Hmm. I mean I could just come and grab it on the way out if much of this wasn't here. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Right up, grab and go. But it would be better if I had some way of getting through this much faster. Because I'm probably going to need to take a high-speed car through here. Make sure most of this stuff isn't in my way. Wish I had some kind of giant picking up vehicle for moving this thing. I mean, there are other ways to make it easier to transport. Need it to be slightly lighter, please. Come on. No more silly buggers. Hmm. Okay, well, other idea is to do it a bit more precisely. There does appear to be a weight on items, so make them smaller than they are lighter to be carrying around, which is very cool. I can't even conceive the amount of work that was put into making all this, but it was done very well. So I'm just clearing this so I can drive a car straight up to that high-speed battery thing, grab it, and continue moving. My blowtorch is almost completely out, though, so that was the last of my precision cutting, potentially. Clear out the debris as well. Debris can be a real showstopper for a car if it gets stuck on them as we saw many times with the green car when doing the art heist. Thinking about it, I could have done this for free with the sledgehammer, but I don't think... Yeah, I don't think the sledgehammer can do anything to that. So this stuff is nicely piled up so that I can just run and grab that. Maybe not enough, though. Yeah, run right up and grab the thing and don't get stuck in here, so say no to debris, just like you would say to animate. Bonk. Back out and driving. I would probably want to have some slick way of going back down from here. I be doing it. I probably want to drive up straight into this, so I want this gone. Fortunately, my blowtorch is running on fumes here. Goodness, what was I thinking? Not getting hit. More blowtorch. I was probably thinking shotgun is better. There we go, so um, let's just not leave this one to chance. Say no to the gate. Drive up, bum, 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 bum. grab that, and then what's my best way down from here? Is it turning down to there? Now this is a bit too much of a big drop, I would certainly total whatever I'm driving if I did that. Let's just have less of you, in general. Oop, didn't want that. There we go, so now I can just drive, drive, drive. Mm, do I want some nicer planking here, though? Not really sure that's going to help much. What would probably be better is just not having this here. Okay. In fact, I'm thinking I'll even level this out a bit. Because grass and shrubs and that. It's a real nightmare for driving on. 
Okay. Drive up, grab that, and then just drive along to the finish line. Still not thrilled about your existence. Um... There we go. Very fortunate that that doesn't set off an alarm. No debris either. We don't like debris. He mentioned that Viz Annual around Christmas. I got myself a copy. I gotta say, the letter box bit is fantastic. The letter box. Oh, the uh, the writings. I just find the Viz in general fantastic. It's a traditional Christmas present in my family. As soon as you're a bit too old for the Beano and the Dandy, you start getting the hardback Viz for Christmas. So with that, that's one, two, three, four of them sorted out. We just need these two to be picker-uppers, and we're good to go. Let's get back inside Helden. And figure out what needs to be done. Well, one of them's right here, actually. It's you, huh? Could I just have you- whoa, whoa, I haven't saved, have I? Let's save before I risk the dingle dangle. It's kind of good. Because I can just go in and go boop, and then back out. Yeah, that's pretty clinical. Sweet. Except it's a little off the beaten track, isn't it? How do I quickly get here? Mm, well, if we have vehicles, we'll put vehicles to use. Yeah, the gate might open up, but I can't trust the gate to open up in uh, in good time. So let's just use the DHL van. Because my wallet is yawning with emptiness. <laughs> and clear ourselves a path. I think the core of a vehicle, the chassis, is made of uh, indestructible stuff. So there's always a core of the vehicle that cannot be totaled. There we go. Thank you, Van. Here's your, here's your send-off. Hmm, still this in the way. Heldon. Almost there. Try and tweak that whole thing into the water if you could, please. See, Heldon sees this, he just wishes he could do it at work. I'm sure it goes through his head every day. Alright, there we go, except now I've kind of gotten you stuck here, haven't I? But that's okay, when in doubt, just use a bigger Heldon. And give him the burial at sea. Die trying. Okay, job well done. This is to keep it clear enough, because I'm probably going to want to be driving a fast car, or as fast as cars get on this level. I doubt we're going to get the kind of sports cars we were seeing before. These tools can't be worth more than the wanton destruction that I'm causing here. Well, they do say a good set of tools is priceless. Is there something inside here? Is this some kind of Virtua Boy? Get out of here. that first tool? I'm looking right at it. So I need you, huh? 
So I reckon I would grab you, jump down into a speedy vehicle, and then out I go. And that's exactly what I'll do after I go and get myself some water. I'll be right back. Where is the fastest car we're going to get around here? I seem to recall there being something resembling speedy cars over here. Then again, we might have stolen and destroyed them all in previous missions. I mean, this is something, but it sure ain't running. I might be in a bit of a pickle when it comes to getting a speedy vehicle. Where are all the valuables? I need money. Anything in the fridge? Well, not anymore. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go for a modest vehicle then. I wonder if there's some valuables in some of these shipping containers. I don't really feel like opening all of them up. He says as he opens them all up. might be the fastest vehicle around is the one that I left beside the place of the high-speed battery. I assume you can't just cut the flashing pipe and take it with you. No. They, they know about that one. If you take what the alarm is attached to, it'll still set off the alarm, regrettably. Uh, I need you to not be here. Thank you. Off you trot. Uh, I said off you trot give you the burial at sea like so many others. Yeah, this might be our fastest option. Hmm. Well, good thing I didn't completely brutalize it. Now the problem is I haven't put down yellow markers for everything. I am hopeless at orienteering and remembering pretty much anything. So I'll just have to I should I should be I should be clever. I should spray what I need. You're kind of in the way. You need to go. So, I come and I grab that. Here, I can't upgrade the spray can. I grab that. And come along. <laughs> this is our signature move on any level, though. If someone comes home, they see all this... All this spraying, and they just go, Oh, no. I haven't missed anything, have I? One, two, three, and then it's four, five, six, and we're done. It looks really easy. I doubt this is going to be anywhere near as tight as the artwork one was. Now I can abandon ship here and just grab you and you and then home. Swell. Alright, let's go. 
Go swimming with our sledgehammer, spray can, extinguisher, blowtorch, planks. 17 of them. Shotgun gun and pipe bombs. What more do you want this break and to do? It's already MVP of the run. What more do you want this break and... Break and to do? You mean spray can? Got some auto-correcting going on? Bye, Heldon. <laughs> uh. Well, let's do it then. My way. Ten seconds down already. It feels so good, all that meticulous planning coming together for one minute of oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Feels so damn good. It's a very, very well executed game, this. Oh, I didn't, I should have made that hole wider, but that's okay. Chunky wheels of this thing can get through anything. <laughs> Including its own front windshield. Give me the cutters. Yeah, screw it. Bye bye. Wasn't worth the effort to drive around with that. Done and done right. The helicopter will never see me. Alright, got it done in one. Flawless. How much do I get paid for these missions though? It doesn't, doesn't feel like a whole lot. I do wish I could manipulate the camera here a bit whilst re-watching this, but I'll take it. All those profits going on spray cans. <laughs> that bit there was always the trickiest part. I could have easily bungled the vehicle, and I don't think I would have been able to make up time running over here. On reflection, I should have left myself a backup vehicle. What was the last tool you got last time I played? It was the gun. There, and out we go. Swell. wonder when I get another tool, if there are any more tools. Oh! We got one right now. What does this look like? It's just bomb. Oh, we use these to level... We use these to level the, um, the water tower. Pretty sweet. I would like to upgrade that. I didn't get paid at all. Cash is only 35 quid. I need some real money. I can upgrade the number of bombs I have and the amount of damage it does, but that is expensive and I have nothing. Alright, do we have a new... Do we have a new message? This looks new. The Lockel Celebrations. There'll be concession stands, music performance, ice cream van. The Home Guard do their annual parade. There'll be huge fireworks. Hmm, is that good? Let's see, we've got the art return. Oh, Frankie, I keep pressing escape to come out of this, but no. Okay, nothing to do but return that art. Back to the Mariana. New email, buy my bombs. <laughs> do love me some Death Road to Canada. Speaking of which, I fancy some Death Road to Canada this... Uh, what day am I planning that? This Saturday evening. If you want to come in for some multiplayer, hit me up. Because I'd be well up for that. The game's great fun in multiplayer. They added quite a bit of new stuff to the game, so I do feel a bit of the itch to go back to it. Right, what do we have? We have only four things we need to get. If there are four things, then I would be inclined to believe that they are all hard attached. I mean, how would you be able to cover all this in one minute? I do not know. Holy smokes! Ah, right. Thunder. Thunder and lightning. Very frightening. That means that it could set off some fires and get the fire alarm going, and that would be no good. How are you still attached? 
There we go. Just stay over there and don't cause me any trouble. Yeah, fire alarm. Too much fire will trigger it. That is cool. That is so cool. Like this game needed to be any more cool. And yet, it gets even more cool. Alright. Hopefully I can shove something inside here. I don't want to... I don't want to damage this triad fish van. Can I ride you? Oh, baby forklift! Someday it'll grow up to be a big, strong forklift. For now, though, go stay over there while it's safe. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be driving you over just in case I don't need you over here. Right. I don't know if the water is going to put this fire out, but I won't trust it to. We have unlimited fire extinguisher power, so let's put it to good use. Oh, that's a problem. Look at that fire alert go. Oh dear lord. Less of that, less of that. Come on, cool it, cool it already. meant to be a destruction game, not a firefighting game. It's already a better firefighting simulator than that game Airport Firefighter Simulator. Okay, is there any more fire anywhere? Expertly done by me. So, what did I come here for? Something up there, apparently. <laughs> Some real high explosive lightning there. Where is the... Oh. Is that set to an alarm, or can I just take it? Awesome. Anything else of value up here? You know, while I'm up here. Dang right there are. A lot of Susan B. Anthony dollars. Well, that's convenient. That means we are done with that side, and I didn't need the the big lorry over there. It's very nice to be back at home. Turn on Twitch and hear Jay says Worm. You missed the trucking stream, right? I know you wanted to see that, so I've made every effort to get the vault onto YouTube. It should be live before the end of the day. it's predetermined where the lightning's going to strike or if it's somewhat random. Okay, I just got three to get. How hard could it be? Oh, I just saw that. Didn't seem to have caused a fire though. I wonder if that's because I... Oh dear. No, that's a blowtorch. That will not help the situation. It's like they say, fight fire with fire. Eventually it'll work. There's this debris getting in the way, and I feel like there are other fires going on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and oh no. Let me upstairs.
Mechanically, I wonder how this fire works. Or the fire extinguishing works. Okay, we're staying on top of it. Except I'm about to fall through the floor. Real firefighter hazard that. Ooh. Well, thank you, fire. You revealed some valuables for me. I do appreciate that. Probably up in the roof there again, isn't it? Or it'll be in this room. In the floor, perhaps? No, it's just indestructible stuff beneath the floor. Hmm. Come on, where, where's the actual... Oh, I think these were the stairs once. They're gone now. Alright, fight fire with hammer. No? Okay. That was good. Must have got the heart of the fire there. Right, as much fun as this is, where are the valuables? Let's hammer myself a little impromptu staircase up to the roof. And get investigating. Here somewhere. Ah, there you are. Alright, another target down. So maybe there's no race against time on this level, it's just race against fire. Which is a shame, I was really hoping to cleverly use this fish truck in some way. And I still live by that dream. Hee <laughs> Chop someone's head off with this. Uh oh, uh oh. Time for such fanciful thinking. The fire is here. Is the target in here? It is somewhere, right. I think there's more fire than I'm not seeing here. Or it's just all being covered by this debris. Where's the good wall, Shrivens? Where are the goodies? And where's the staircase? Well, I'll, I'll make my own staircase. Uh oh, uh oh, that fire is getting out of control. And that's not the only fire. The one's getting a bit too big for his britches. Where is it? Where is it? It can't be all of it. There must be more. Oh, oh, oh god, this building's a goner. Starting to think my best bet might be just get the other good and get out of here. There's a car right there for my sneaky escape. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Somewhere inside this building? Uh, somewhere. Oh, there. Right there. Handy. Gum to daddy. Where's my exit again? It's over there. I might be faster taking you. Oh no, you're still attached to the pier. It's alright, we can just take the pier with us. Not a flaw to be found. It was all the fires doing. New high score. What does that even mean? I didn't have a score at all before. We're we're doing some remodeling here. 
I'm getting myself a bedroom. Nice. Quite envious of people who have the wherewithal to do this kind of work. Me, I'm all thumbs when it comes to DIY. Ooh, this is nice. Didn't I steal this? Ill-gotten gains. Out they go. I'm better than that. And the rain seems to have let up. And I hope that's my corn. Want to impress? Want to flash cash? Russian caviar goes well with fishy. Right, what do we have? Guess what? We found a pattern for the recently visited locations in the GPS. You even picked up some marina. Pointed me to Hollow Rock Island, an old fish processing plant, now making some kind of energy drink. BT is blue tide. Why didn't I think of that before? My daughter is totally addicted to that disgusting sugary sludge. I'm here right now. It's a bit worn down, but pretty. Most of the island is closed off for visitors. They don't seem interested in answering questions. Right, so I need to go and check it out, but I certainly want to invest my money. Is that the only mission we have going on, though? Hmm. I thought the game might open up a bit more in that regard, but perhaps not. I could get more bombs, and believe me, I am tempted. Shotgun tends to be my go-to for everything, though. More shoddy shells is nice shoddy shells, but I can have both. I can get more bombs. And more shoddy shells. Brilliant. Now let's go and get that mission done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Mm. Fire alarms, wired boxes, breaking an alarm box or wire triggers the alarm. Reasonably spread out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Missing something here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, how did I not manage to count to seven last time? I don't know. Hmm? Anything in you? No. This looks like a good all around vehicle. I can shove a small thing in the back, and it seems quite nippy, and it's got big tires, so it shouldn't struggle with slight potholes or debris. So I'm going to need to investigate all the different places here, but first thing I want to investigate is that lighthouse. I wouldn't put a lighthouse in the game without hiding something valuable inside it. And I do want valuables. So it's going to be like the long dark where there's some hidden goodies in an upside down boat? No. What about in you? Yeah, there we go. Only $25 for some fishing gear. I used to work with a guy in security who'd spend his security shift just making uh, making his fishing gear. Preparing his tackle or whatever it is they do. I'm not into fishing, so it's a bit beyond me. Also, that is the tiniest toilet. Kind of stuff very specific nightmares are made of. Yeah, his lures. He was making his lures there. There we go. Spare carbon ank- Whoa! Two fifty dollars! Nice. Looks to be some jiggery pokery that can be done with the rooftops here. Wonder if I can jump over to there from here. Might be useful. Might be deadly. I won't find out unless I try. Oh yeah! Now what do we have up here? On any rooftop valuables? No? Jeez. Let's let some fresh air in here. It's getting a bit too stuffy. 
Maybe the other one has something a bit better going for it. Is it really only this narrow? I guess so. I bet there's something going on with that ship over there as well. Oh, well, lost my height advantage just like that. Easy come, easy go. This place it feels like it's going to be rife with secrets. Let me in the ship. Let me more into the ship. Oh, hmm. Up warped. So what's your story? Are you rigged to an alarm or anything? Are you rigged at all? Can I just ride you? Yeah! Is this useful in any way? Depends what I'm stealing, I guess. I have a funny feeling the desktop computers are not things that I can just carry myself. I need to bring them around on something like this. Where are the valuables at? On reflection, blasting a hole in the hull of this ship that I'm considering taking around for the mission might not have been the best idea, but it was still an idea. Indeed, that is what counts. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I have a funny feeling there's something in one of these crates. Maybe the ones behind the other crates. Hey, there was something. Disappointment. What are what are you all about? Hmm. Okay. So I will need to come here. That's a pain. Unless unless I could go through the wall and grab you here some way somehow. That seems clever. If I have anything nice and swift that could bring me around here. Just grab it from there and then... Hey, there's a fast boat there. Maybe even grab... Oh, hmm. It's a lot higher. Okay, well, at least I've got this prepped. I like the way this game forces you to very much think outside the box. You see a wall, it's not a wall, it's just something that can be destroyed to make your life quicker and easier. Hmm. Making life quicker and easier doesn't sound that positive, does it? Peculiar and ill-fitting music on this level compared to everywhere else. Come on, there must be some 50 peas down the side of this sofa. I think I wasted it all early in terms of finding the valuables in this level. Well, never mind. I've found the optional item here, and we will be going for all the optional items. Now, oh, fit. There's a required item over there, but also there's a boat over here which could be of significant use. Are you attached to anything? No, but you are fast. And you don't handle that badly. 
In fact, look at this. Looks like I'd be threading the needle through there for some reason. If any of these are optional, I might even... S mm. No, I imagine I'd be doing stuff here. And then hopping in a boat. Piercing through here to grab that. And then going that way to get to the end point. It's conceivable. That is quite the needle to thread, though. I can see myself crashing into the sides already. So I really should not test my luck with this boat. Let's leave it here, safe in the knowledge that I'm probably going to need it later. <laughs> Hope I don't need this boat. Looks kind of crummy. Yeah, it's not a patch on the other one we've got. Your story. I can drive you, sure, but to what end, I don't know. Oh, how cute. We'll be one with nature again, little fish. What's behind here? My very own Sakawana fishing knife. Don't mind if I do. Goodness, there's a lot to explore here. This feels like um, feels like playing around with a large, already constructed Lego set. Except with significantly more television stealing. Alright, this is all fun and games, but where is that item? As usual, I'm always looking for items that I can grab without starting the timer, or at least position close to... Close to my getaway vehicle. Where the dickens is it? It's the opposite of where I'm looking, isn't it? fish processing going on. Yeah, my lack of orienteering skills just comes to bite me forevermore. Right, tell you what, let's just not have a wall here anymore. Ah! Hello. Fancy meeting you here. Uh, just in case it sets off the alarm. I'll take it. So that's one of the targets attached to what is left of the wall here. You are a little complicated to get, aren't you? How am I meant to grab you? With everything else going on. I could start by not barricading the stairway. Hmm. It might be that I would grab you and run out of here. What about you? And these other ones, Caribbeans. There's a lot I need to commit to memory here, and that is one of my big weaknesses. Memory and commitment. Something is necessary around here. Necessary or not, we're grabbing everything, but still. What could it be? Where could it be? I don't think I'm actually taking any cash out of the register. It's just taking the cash register itself. One wonders how it could have any real value. It does feel good to keep pilfering things, but where are they? Hello? Oh, hello, hello. 
Universe Raider. Old, still pretty good. I'd never dream of damaging an arcade machine. Wish I could take it with me. Instead, I'll pick up a bottle of gin. So, again, strictly attached to a an alarm here. So, there's no, no grabbing this for free. At least it's quite openly visible. I feel like I'm playing Dead Rising with all the cash registers I'm taking. Mm. Well, those two don't look promising. I just have to hope that Many of the other ones can be grabbed without setting off the timer. If not, I'm going to have to put together some big plan here. I've already spent a fair few of my shotty shells. So what's this one's story? FM radio. Can't imagine you'd shift that for three dollars, let alone thirty. So is, it, is it on the roof or something? Where is it meant to be? Or is there a lower entrance? Aha! Double aha! That's the computer of some sort. Was it using sugar to power something here? Right, what's your story? I mean, yeah. Wow, you are tenacious as doors go. Again, though. Right, I need to have you quick to take. I really think it's going to be boating around quickly. Something like grab, 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 into the boat. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, but then there's you. And all of those. Not promising. Not promising at all. Right. Bombs, help me out. Probably going to need some quick way to grab this thing and go. It'd be nice if this game had something like a wind blaster or anything to quickly shove debris around. Because you sure generate a lot of debris. And it's a bit fernickety, you hold right click to pick it up and then left click to launch it. Time it wrongly though and you end up swinging your weapon or wasting whatever you're holding. Maybe that is an item you get after leveling up a bit more, but it seems weird to gate something like that. It's going to be a lot of work figuring this one out, I can feel it. I don't trust you. Blink. Hmm. Protesters starting carrying leaf blowers in the US to deflect tear. Oh, that is pretty cool. Careful thinking, forward planning right there. So I checked those. Did I check this thing yet? Living room. I don't remember breaking into anyone's living room. Yet. Ivory chess pieces for $80 dues. Nice money to be had on this map. A living room. You're more of a living room, and again attached to that. This is going to be a toughie. How in the world are you meant to go through all of these? I could reasonably see you grabbing that, jumping into that, and that, and going through there, but you'd still have to grab all these. Well, we haven't checked all of them. Maybe 
everything else can be grabbed without starting the timer. Pinball machine in there? Also, can I steal any of the scientific equipment? Mm, no. Ah, it's not a pinball machine at all! Between the music and the complete lack of people, it is quite eerie. This is the game that all the kids should be playing, not Minecraft. Another guaranteed alarm drop. That is... That is rough. R-U-F-F, that is rough. Okay, and the last thing I need to check is over there, and of course I'll have forgotten the intricacies of all of them by now, but that's okay. Liam's a daisy. Oh, now this looks dangerous. Yeah! <laughs> well, we've just got ourselves a shortcut through there if we need it. Again. Okay, well, at least I don't have to. I can't just pick them up, right? It's just E to grab. Must be. Right, how the heck do we do this? Every single thing turns on the alarm. And worst of all, we're on both sides of the getaway vehicle. Could do something like bit bit boop vroom bit bit boop out of here. But how I get that done in time? I don't know. I'm thinking of it in that order because these things, these places are rather high up. And again, so are those. How would I get up from the boat up to those high levels? Yeah, I am thinking about the rooftop parkour, which I um, might have pranged a bit. Can we fix it? Might, have a, might be able to take a forklift and raise it up. Doesn't look good. Does not look good. I don't know where to go with this. Hang on, we've we been under here. Might be some secret underground speedy way around everything down here. Yeah. <laughs> it's good being this strong. More fish conveyor belts. Had to expect to hear. Been there, done that. Somehow the air purifier survived the explosion. Speaking of explosions, can have a few more. Let me through. Ah, the chunky Helden is here. Could be useful. Are there any secrets being held here? 
Reminds me of the banana area. Be damned if that doesn't look suspicious. Well, it did, but it just takes me out here, sadly. Oh! Okay. I didn't think those were explosive. Uh-oh, when was the last time I saved? Ah. Uh, oh, that's convenient. Right before I blew up the parkour. Right, well, let's not do that again. in a position to parkour up from here, or would I be parkouring down into here? Especially from this thing. Start here and then go da da da. But then how do I get up to here? It's pretty high up compared to everything. It does seem feasible to do something like that, but it could also work in reverse, surely. Start at the top, simpler. Start on top and top. I think I'd start right, boat top, over to left. Start right, boat top, over to left. What I'm thinking is that the boats might be good for getting me some verticality. See that? Pretty high up. I might be able to just like ram it into here so that I can jump up and then I would grab you and then I need some way up to parkour a clock. What if we didn't have this wall here? we plank our way up just to make our lives significantly easier. Clink! And it's still going wee woo wee woo wee woo at this point, but that's where we um... Ah! Alright, the game encouraged me to make more complex structures. Which I can do. I have the power. You gotta admit, this is pretty good. All that polybridge training finally paying off. Mm-hmm. But how do we quickly get over to this thing? Also, where was it again? Oh, 
Oh, cripes, it was way down, wasn't it? Ah. Oh. Still feels like this is easiest to do by boating around, but nothing else is particularly accessible that way. Any time loads? Yeah, the moment I pick up one thing, a 60 second timer starts. So from the moment you get the first one, you have to get all the other ones and get back to base and just ooh, 60 seconds is gone before you know it. to get this one. It's a real pain, this one. So far out of the way here. I think 10 seconds to get there and 10 to get out. Unless this is the last one we go for. And then as we grab you, we go out to a boat that takes us around to our getaway boat. The boat is quite fast. be easier than navigating um, the roads and such. Could you use the two boats, one to take you from the top left to the top right, and one to escape? So you're thinking I go doot 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 and then maybe take this boat to get me quickly up to here and then doot 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 and then out. That is probably the best idea. I can't see any use for this boat so I'm just going to use it to get me over to the other boat to position it. This is far too slow. Wait, there's a bed? Oh. Man, I hope there's a mission that can put this to use. Because that is so cool. She's taking on a little bit of water, but I'm sure she'll be fine. She's a good, strong boat. you positions so that you will be able to just go meow and out of there. See, I'll take you an immediately hard right and just go meow and then leg it into there. That that journey alone is going to need 10 seconds or, the, or so. But it's a very, very simple in we go go. What's my best angle for it? Just straight out? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Although I'd like it a bit more if there was less wall in the way. I know I'm not made of shotgun here. I don't want something silly like me bashing my head. Stopping the final leg of all this. Alright, so working backwards, I'll be coming over to here. How do I get down to you, anyway? I reckon I'd be coming in from here. I might actually need to just blow something through the roof here. I come in from there, down to here. Mm. 
Ah, that's not what I needed. It goes into water. So perhaps here? That's kind of good. Keep the sledgehammer equipped so I don't accidentally bomb us again. Oh man, all this crap is getting in the way. Who would have imagined? Let me just chuck it out the hole that I have made, the one into the water. As long as I don't trigger the alarm. I don't want to waste any more ammunition than I already have, because there's doubtlessly more that I need to set up. This big chunk here, though, could you just go? I feel like a fly tipper. Come on, in you get. A victimless crime, out you go. There's you. Maybe I can just drag you out of here. Actually, there's not bits of door in the way. Actually, you being there is fine, because I won't be going in through the door. I'll be coming in through the caretaker's entrance. You being in the way disgusts me, though. Could you go out the out into the soup? Come on, out you go, out you go. Didn't want to waste that, but come on. Oh no! Oh no, I took the, took the freaking thing with it. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, where did I set you off? That was a little off. Pushing out debris again. You are right, that is a very satisfying sploosh sound. Come on, out you go, out you go. little in the way of guarantee that this is going to work, but we'll do the best we can. So I will be coming down and into all that. If we please have less in the way of debris and not more. Ooh, well, that might be okay. So I'm just grabbing you and then out I trot. If I didn't want the spray can there, can I put it out with the extinguisher? No? Okay. Well, don't make plans you don't plan on following. to there's the best bet, then I need a way in from the top. Also, how was I even getting to that in the first place? Oh yeah, 
could jump on big boats to get over. In that case, I need to look at it from that side. You could make a plan like this and then just find that you are 20 seconds short and then all your planning is for absolutely nothing. But I still do like to think that I can come up. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, boink. Actually, it would be nice if you were easier to grab. Boink, boink. Son of a gun. Hate to have that slip happen at the very end. I was actually wondering, did this start out as a heist game with destructible environments, or did it materialize during EA? After all, Teardown seems like a surprising title for a heist game. I agree with you there, Marvin. But, I don't know. Okay, I can certainly run along to over here, and then, hey! That is exactly what I need right there. That's my easiest way down to this. Most cost effective, I should probably blowtorch some of this down. So that I can just drop down and grab that. Probably the sooner I drop the better. And then I'll want to to exit and get through to that as quickly as I can. And I really don't want things getting in my way, so let's just have less of that so that I can just wee. Oh gosh, I should take care not to destroy my parkour stuff. We need that. Got a shortcut to this. I don't bop my head on any of this. Get rest out of the cat here. I'm marginally regretting not upping the capacity of my blowtorch. I don't think it's particularly expensive and just being a cheap bugger. So I come in and grab that. Easy yozy. Feel like I'm gonna waste too much time trying to get out of this. I want a bigger hole. More hole is more shotgun. Okay, that makes a bit of sense. Do 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 do. Ooh, need to delay a little bit there. I'm gonna miss that. Okay, well that's this leg of the journey looking good, but it already looks like it's gonna be about half the time. The Barbie game, Hoopa. That was a disgrace. And to make matters even worse, I, I didn't beat it. It's a particularly difficult game. Right, well at least that's this leg of the journey somewhat figured out. This part just... Oof, how's it all gonna meld together though? Yeah, there was a NES game, Barbie something or other, and it's really rather difficult. Uh, how did all this go again? The logical order is one, two, three, four, and then make my way across there. I wonder if there's a faster way than using a boat, though. The boat over here is going to be slow. Slow, slow going. I'm coming out of here. Let's just not have wall to begin with. Wall is a detriment to speed. Tree is also a detriment to speed. So I would reasonably be grabbing you and running right in this direction. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Wee woo. Now, 
Where was that again? Is that down? It is. Oh, it's down. So I've immediately got access to you. But going low and then having to go high is a bit of a pain. I'm not sure if we like that. So I need to get back up to there, don't I? No, I have to do it in this direction, otherwise I'm just adding more length to the entire journey. It'd be sweet if there was some kind of fast traveling whenever you're not in heist mode, so I don't need to keep jumping up and down things, but I'd probably get lazy and rely on it way too much. Alright, so we'd be getting this, coming straight out, and then down here, probably would appreciate this not being here. Let's uh, not have this be a thing. Plink. And then from there, I need to get up to you. Same level as me, so it's actually right over there. Ah, there it is. So after I grab you, the fastest thing I can think of would simply be a kind of ladder bit up to you, which I could use these for. These could help out in the creation of such a ladder. Heck, even you could. It's something I can run straight up. I don't want to delay and jump around. Parkouring would take too long. Yeah, maybe not too bad if that's high enough. I'm not sure if it is, though. So there, there's the goodie. I just need to get in through here. Well, bomb, help us out. Nice, didn't even hurt. So, I need a way up to you. Actually, that, that worked kind of well. Grabbing you, and then I'm just going up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. I think planking is not a terrible idea here. If only I had a bit more length on it, though. And I do not want to fall over this thing, either. Maybe I could even just move you out of the way and just blank straight up to here. That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. And then we just need to make a pretty cool way over to you. Where were you again? Eight meters below. So as we grab the dingling dangling thing there. Where was it? I'm looking clean at it, apparently. Ah yes, Cribbins, I remember opening this wall now. So what I need to do is quickly lose height. Oh, Cribbins, very quickly lose height. How do I even get down here the best? I need this ceiling not to be here. Sounds like a job for the pipe bomb. That's good. We need more. I mean, should I just bomb it? Let's get that debris out of the way. It's just going to cause problems. And I would actually like this to be a 
bigger hole in the wall, please. Just come down here, grab you, and then actually, this doesn't look like it would be too hard. It's this transition that bothers me greatly. Is that even the best way? I could set up a car. Ah, oh, there's this steep hump here, not to mention the verticality that I need to gain. Right, well, at least spray out what I have so far. Man, there's a lot of preparation involved here. I like it, though. I really like it. Okay, down to grab this, and then... Up, see Daisy. Grab the dingly-dangly thing there. Twink. And then am I... Am I still heading up? Might be in a bit... No, we're still heading up and along. And then over, down to you. And then from here to where? Trying to figure out just how much this big bad boy can move. Oh, perhaps not. Let's not smash the thing up though, we don't need it to take on water. Hello, anyone want to let me out here? Need to remove some things that are attached. This doesn't look very attached, actually. Don't need you slowing me down. Get out. Turn back to nature. Not docked or moored or anything like that, is it? I need to get from there to up to here. I really think this is the best way to get some good height. Maybe if I just moor it here myself. If, if I could find some way to quickly get up to there. I'd be able to climb up real fast. So I can get from here to, to there. Stop moving. Then how do I quickly get up to this thing? It's anyone's guess. Yeah, I am genuinely considering building a bridge of ships here. Half sink the boat! <laughs> Ah, uh, it's funny, but probably not what I want to do. The thing is, I'll all just be traveling at the speed of walking, so it might not be too bad to just jump onto this thing. Actually, is that jumpable? Because I'd be grabbing you, and I might just want to jump in such a way that can get me up to the roof here. Especially if I can plank it. I mean, if I sledge some of it away, plank up to what's left of it. A little worryingly precise and certainly a little steep, but can be done. I can make my way across to that somehow, that'd be sweet. But at that point, maybe I'm putting the cart before the horse here in regards to that. So I need to get over to there somehow. Maybe you could be parked here and I could jump up and over to that. Oh, not again.
collapse the lighthouse. Oh, that would be so cool. Sounds dangerous, though. How many bombs do I have? Five of them. Which way would I want to collapse the lighthouse? That way? That could cause more problems than it solves. Let's see if it can be done, though. Yeah, I think it needs quite a bit more of its support taken care of before this thing goes kablooey. Let me out! Not sure to what extent gravity has an effect here. I wonder if it would hang on if it even had just the slightest bit of uh, support going for it. Hey, is there something down here? Yes and no. Mostly yes. What's this all about? Ooh, a crock of gold! Well, this is... This is just marvellous. Uh, I need out now, please. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure this thing's gonna fall. Maybe that's something. Can I can I move and grab this thing? Oi. Get down some more. Could be done. Could certainly be done. Still need a way over to this thing, though. And I've used up a uh, heck of a lot of my ammo. Now that I have this, I would be sinning not to use it. But you're not particularly destructible. I do need to get over to there. The angle isn't amazing for this. Is there a way to plank that over to there? Surely, surely there is. Just gotta make ourselves some scaffolding. That's how it works. Oh, my legs. Smash the building, holding up the lighthouse a bit more to drop it further, yeah, but what if it drops it so much that it's no longer usable? I'm very low on everything. Perhaps you mean smash this part. Yeah, I don't think I can destroy this stuff here. But that's okay, I've kind of set this up to get into here. Kind of. Yeah, like it's lodged into. Well, that's my uh, that's my work there. But yeah, the glass stuff. 
don't know, but it seems workable. So I'd be running up here, and then I could... If I could just have a bit more plank set up there, I can jump across. Now, even with all this set up, there's no guarantee I'll be able to get this done inside a minute. But at least I'll have given it a damn good try. It feels so much like playing with Lego this game, in a, in a good sense. I'm not entirely sure how that could ever be a bad sense, but... There's some weirdos out there. Okay. Wee -woo -wee -woo. Okay, alright, this seems workable. It doesn't seem like there's anything that's going to be as tricky as what I did in the art heist. I just need to spray it and give it a go. If this doesn't work, there will likely be a restart, because there's almost no... Yeah, exactly. i got very little to work with left now. So, out of here, I would feel a little bit more comfortable if I had something to jump onto across the water, just in case I can't make it, or I slip or something. Oh, I don't like that. That's a slippy thing. This is also a little bit precarious. I would love to at least put down a second plank so that it's a bit firmer. Yeah, there we go. Uh, some slippy stuff here. Honestly, I'd like a second plank here too. It's just a... A wee bit unstable. Oh, cripes. Okay, let's not risk that anymore. Not least of all since I only have one plank left. But we come up. And over to here. We drop... Straight Dune. Grab that. And then we gotta go out here. I don't like you. Do I have any shotgun blasts left? One. Let's make it matter. Get out of here. Don't want to snag myself around here. Grab you. Jump across. If I do, if I get it done and there's something like five seconds more needed, I reckon we can shave that off. But if I need something like ten, I think this is doomed. But it's worth a go. We'll get it all sprayed out, get it to the starting point, and give it a go and see how it works. Taking down the lighthouse, stroke of genius, and I can't even take credit for it. I will, but I can't. Any plan not involving a lighthouse will surely be lost. It's amazing how nobody's noticed all this wanton destruction just yet. So this is the starting point, right? Oh, I can even see my yellow spray thing here. Uh, any guesses for how long this is going to take? Well, let's go for it. Ugh, like 10 seconds of the first one, pretty much. Maybe not so bad. Up and over and down and down some more. Grab you. Onto you. Up here. Up some more. Oh my goodness, this is going faster than I thought. Even with that little slip. It was only a little slip. Yoink. Half the time still left. Don't smudge the parkour. Up, over, down, grab, down some more. We should have a good 15 seconds on the speed boating to the escape vehicle. 16, 15, snagged. Get in! Come on! Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Oh yeah! One and done flawlessly.
So who guessed 55 seconds? Because we really like you. What the heck is that? Oh, somebody's watching without video? How does that even work? Chilled on flyer. You correctly guessed 55. Well done. No video needed. <laughs> it did look pretty good. Wow, I'm gonna have to re-watch that myself. It was so, so well done. Mm. And there were a couple of slip-ups there. I probably lost about two seconds. I tripped on the boat, and I think it was something else I was kerfuffled with. I, w I was really happy with getting out of the boat, though. That was completely unpracticed. Oh, yeah. I didn't take 56.9, I took 55. Uh, so apparently I'm talented, and for that I'm getting myself a new tool. I'd say that the real talent here is this bathroom remodeling stuff. The game's chugging a bit here, what's going on? They're trying to load a lot of stuff here. Can't be any more stuff than what we just had. A wire tool. For what purpose? Is that for connecting things and dragging them? That's pretty cool. Didn't a plank do that anyway? Hmm, okay, there must be some, some usability for it. Okay, cable. Oh god, that's expensive to upgrade my cables, but uh, let's double the amount of cables we have. I didn't use bombs quite so much. I barely use the gun. I don't use pipe bombs that much. We do like planks. I Since they're really cheap, I think I should get myself a lot of planks. Maybe even make them longer. Go for maximum planks. They do seem really rather useful. But the shotgun. I always need more shotgun. There we go. I feel good about that. Nice. Thanks to all that leprechaun gold we found. Got my own washing machine. Liking all the upgrades I'm doing here with that fat destruction dosh I'm making. I'm also... Getting a little collection of my own wee Heldens. This is great though, this serves as a playground to figure out how to use the tools in the game. And look at all the creative things you can do with them. Could tilt up a vehicle like that if I so needed. Way. I think we're working on our hobby car here. And hobby cars, you think you own them, but they own you. You should just give it up. With some creativity, you can build yourself a portable shed. Other material lying around, build these. Uh, other just stay inside the cabin part. But, oh, I see what the game's trying to tell you. A way to, to have, like, a flatbed for carrying things. Your swordfish can travel safely. A wall but no hole? We play <laughs> it's uh, reminding me of that teaching show on Harvest Moon Back to Nature. I forget the name of it. I tuned in every day for it. Okay, new message. What do we have here? The claims from Gordon keep coming in. I'm not new to this game. I suspect he's trying to pull a trick on us. I think the best solution would be if he took his problems elsewhere. If I could just get rid of his insurance papers, poof, like that, he'd be gone. He keeps the papers in one of his safes. Top of the line Quizlet safes, very sturdy, virtually unbreakable. He bought them on our recommendation, but they have one weakness. They're not waterproof. Go to his place, dump his safes into the water. Should smudge up the papers. The safes are equipped with moisture sensors. They'll trigger when wet. Hmm. I like the sound of this, but where are they? Oh, good, it's not the Mariana. Ah, I like his villa. I like playing around in his villa. Let's go for it. Wire should help 
aim when lighthouses topple with precision. Yeah, maybe, but I like I like eyeballing these things. Why in the world did I say we just started? Also, if you know the location of some treasures that I haven't found in places, I'd love to hear them because I'm not digging up everything to find them. Of course, you might be someone that just doesn't want me to succeed in life. That's fine too. That was a mistake. I've just made it considerably more complicated to get to my escape vehicle. Yeah, forget that. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, what I was thinking was, I want to destroy this tree. It was well thought out until it wasn't. Love the rain effect. It's not just seeing the rain, but the, the moisture on the ground. Who thought voxels could look that good? I wonder if this game's a pain to run on inferior systems. Even mine, it uh, makes the encoder chug every now and then. If you notice any hiccups with the stream, it's probably that. So what do I need to do? There are three primary and three secondary targets. Of course, we're going to get them all because we're that damn good. We're no stranger to having to dash rapidly around this map. And the escape vehicle's in the same place as before. So it feels like a... Oh, but hang on. It's not the dashing part so much. It's that I have to wet everything at the same time or close enough. Also, I want that... Oh, it was a food processor. I thought it was a gumball machine. Shouldn't have said that. Hungry now. My dinner's ready to just gulp and go, but still hungry. Wait, this is a target? Ah, right. Well, I've already figured this one out. I'm going to find a hefty capacity view. Hang on, do they get wet in the rain? That's a real concern. Let's find out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Out of the rain, out of the rain. Right, so that's pretty cool. That is ultra cool. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. We're going to have to build some kind of shelter for them, group them together, and then dunk them all at once. That is so cool. Yeah, I wish I had that fish van again. We're going to have to eye up the vehicles that we have access to for this mission. Sadly, I recall them being mostly sport cars, but there was a cement mixer. Maybe I could blow a hole in the side and throw the safes inside it. Nice to see you replaced as sports cars, but nah, there's one of the safes here. Oh, I'm getting all tingly thinking about this mission. It's exciting. Could you cover it in planks? <laughs> Alright, Johnny 2x4, calm down. We'll find a use for the planks. Oh, hello. Another safe here to be had. Anything in the fridge? No, but I'll take his expensive Swiss chocolates. Shouldn't have read that. I am so hungry. Right. I think our MVP is going to be you. Now, problem is you're not covered from the rain, but I will cover you from the rain. Creatively. Are you on any kind of hinges that I could... Oh, I wish, I wish I'd upgraded my freaking blowtorch. Why do I keep not upgrading it? Right, are you wide enough? Need a way up here. Give me a booster. Mm, give me an extra booster. Feel like we're playing Fall Guys again. That's pretty good. But is there a better way to attach them? I might be, it might be fine like that, but things tend to move around, especially in this game. We'll get the other one on top.
There we go. Blowtorch coming in surprisingly crutch on this mission. Seems actually quite secure. Ah, I saw that though. I saw that and I didn't like it. Okay, to secure them. Ah, right, let's get back to our little booster seat. Gotta be careful with this thing. These vehicles take damage like nobody's business. I'm reckoning I should secure them with a bit of a plank. And if I plank from here to. Hey there. There, that's solid. That should stop them from moving around. Oh, crumbs. How do I get them into the vehicle, then? Didn't I think of that, did I? Right, I'll grab all the pieces for now. Ah. We don't happen to have another one of these kicking around, do we? Oh, well. Trial by fire. Let's go for it. Although we'll save now that we've created the thing. Those slopes could cause some grief. How's the clearance? Not great, but we could get a little bit parallel here. Again, I don't want to crash this thing. Parallel parking with this little clearance won't be easy. So, we'll give ourselves some clearance. I'd like to use a bit more exciting a weapon, but the sledgehammer has unlimited ammo. If you're watching this thinking, wow, this game looks cool, what are you waiting around for? Just, just go and get the game. It's so good. Really came out of nowhere for me. Oh yeah, okay, there's a problem. Let's let's try not to jiggery poke this thing too much. Just so I can boost myself off of these. Might be a good idea to secure them in with planks anyway. But I'm not sure this is enough height on this to begin with, so let's Let's go and grab ourselves that safe. Fortunately, the safes aren't that heavy. Not compared to the the giant safes we had to drag around in another mission. The other one I had to just flip over into one of these in a the previous one. Yeah, hard spaceship breaker is indeed on the radar. I played it before and I said, ooh, when this comes out of early access, I'm going to play it. I've seen some... Uh, some negative hubbub around it for it barely doing anything between early access and full release, but hey ho, that's how it goes sometimes. Okay, you are considerably larger. Oh, wow! You trigger fast! But I could do something like that. Is that secure? Kind of, but no. Right. I think I need to create a larger structure here. Yeah, that is real quick, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, then. Either a larger structure or I cover things in a considerably more slapstick fashion. I don't want to waste my planks. Planks are important. How about these boxes here? They're quite light, easy to break up and use for nefarious purposes. And I thought I had this one and done, but the safes are bigger than I thought. Should I break you? I'd rather cut you precisely. Uh, oh, okay, well. That's how we're going to do it. Let's just... That's kind of what I wanted, actually. Can we do that again? 
Oh no, 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 other side, land on the other side. Oh, good enough. What if I just delicately smash you in the corners? That's kind of what I wanted. A lightweight hat for the safe. Just enough to get it in position on the truck, and then I will cover it up with other bits and baubles. But yeah, this thing detects rain real quickly. No, not what goes after that. Right, I reckon what I could do is I could shove you out with this and then subtly cover you with it. Hey, yeah! The lesser known cover with crap solution. Oh, easy now. Easy now. Easy now. Ah, crumbs. How did it even get through all that? I guess it has something like a percentage of it exposed to the top. Hmm. This does not look very repeatable. It doesn't have to be Marvin. We just need to get it out of there. And then we can park it near some water and then just expose them all at once. Assuming we move them all together somewhat. Nice thing about this metal thing is it's not very destructible. So what I could do is use you to just shove this thing out. Shove this thing out. There we go. That's actually a pretty good start. I wonder if I could just keep it like that, especially if I had you locked in some way. Alright, and I could probably quite easily fit a second one in here. I like it. I like it a lot. Now let's just carefully... Oh my days, I don't like that. That is flipping around like a constipated wiener dog in there. How do I keep you more secure? that, perhaps? It would kind of necessitate you being stuck on the other side, too. Am I gonna hold? Good enough. Oh! <laughs> Still good enough. Okay, where's the next one? <laughs> oh, I like this. It's very dumb, but I like this. No, I didn't want to use cables, because the cables seemed like they would be too elasticated for this. Fun part of this, though, is that I can do this inside a dry area. So now there's no risk of exposure. Wait, how do I even get you up here? Am I strong enough? Damn, I strong enough, crikey, look at me. I'm as strong as they come. I need to, uh, I need some useless piece of junk to stand on top of, though, as I throw you into here. Fortunately, I reckon the more I pack in here, the easier it's going to be to keep them all safe. They shouldn't jiggle around so much. Could you could you stop moving around to the side there? What's the problem? Are you the problem? 
There, stay there. Now if I lie them down flat like that, there's less of an issue. They do take out more they do take out more ground space. I'm gonna have to look up speedruns to this game afterwards. I'm curious to see how people would be able to do this ultra fast. Must be techniques to get things done quickly and efficiently. Right. Speaking of which, you will be quite safe and secure in here if I plank this part and this part. The second plank is more just to keep the rain off of you. Sweet, I would even dare to say I could stick another one in here. But with these two done, I need only... Oh, well, there's four more to go. Oh, well. Now on the road again. Ba -da -bum -ba -dum. There's one over there, but I could very easily chuck it in the, in the juice. Oh, no. Oh, dearie me. I don't think it even counts as done, though, unless I sling it in the water proper, does it? That's not water. Do I even have a puddle nearby? Well, I want to see how it works, so... At least he's filled up his pool now. Yeah, it doesn't count unless they get submerged. Gotcha. Now that ramp continues to do me in. Well, not to worry. Oh god, that is worrisome. I should have always just had that one in the back laid flat. Easy now, don't, don't brush against the wall with that. At the same time, I need to make this ramp. Good, good. Not good. Oh, that is tight. Maybe. Maybe. I should cover you up a little more from there. Or even just drag this thing over a touch. There we go. Don't you feel better now? So essentially I've got three in one here because they're all next to this thing that I can just submerge. Uh oh, oh I don't like where that's going. Let's get you under some shelter. Right, so one way or another, I can just... I could probably take off all these things now, and I would just drive you straight into there. And hey, we're next to the escape vehicle as well. So that's pretty sweet. I'm not going to destroy everything on this just yet, just in case there's something that I would want to do with you yet. Don't know what it could be, but... When do you ever? Also, I need a way up to you. I don't want to waste a precious plank, so... Bleh. Yeah, I could remove these, just put three in there, and just back them up and dump them into there, and that would be three of them. Okay, so consider those three good. Seems like the wrong vehicle for the job. Why would it be... It's the very right vehicle for the job. Ooh, I'd love to be able to use you. If I could string a bunch of them together... Right, one, two, three. So one's in there. One's in there. You know, these two are quite sheltered. I could bring them next to each other and just... Um, get them over to here so I can sling them into that puddle. That would submerge them nicely.
Let's not break the elevator this time. As much fun as it was before. How to become a snooker champion in 24 hours by Clue Bays. I don't have Ding Zhang ways. I do actually really enjoy watching snooker. Even this little elevator thing is so cool. Makes me remember building such things out of Lego. Originally, oh crikey, you're a chunky bugger, aren't you? Right, I suspect I'm going to need to take you out by crane because you're just so bleeding heavy. But for now, I'm going to drag you. Yeah. Oh, flipping is easier than dragging, I think. There'll be some operation of just chucking you out the window, I think. But it'd be nice if I had some kind of shelter to chuck you into. Hang on, I could... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's just the light of the... Uh, the safe coming through. I could dunk you down... Yeah, I could just go straight through the floor, couldn't I? Right, great idea. Bomb, let's do this. Brilliant in its own way, but I need a bit more oomph. Yeah! Do we want to go down further? I think we do. Excellent. Don't fall over there now, though. Brilliant. Stay at the rain. Stay at the rain. Puddle is right over there, and I reckon the crane is the best way to get you over there. Uh, there's fire alarms here, so let's... Let's not leave any evidence that we've been here. Uh, there's no fire up there, is there? No, good. He'll never know. And I want you. Uh... Let's not break you, we know you're made of Chinesium now. So I will likely want to connect you. It's connected to the wrong thing. Okay, that's connected to the safe. That way I can just wheek you over to the safe, no problem. Uh, to the puddle, no problem. Might be easier if you were over there, actually. Can I can I do this without exposing you to the rain? There's quite a generous amount of roof here, so hopefully the answer is yes. That's good, although I still don't like how close you are to the rain, so let's just... There we go, that seems safe. Now I just need to wheek you over to there and we're good. Thinking about it, it might have been better to just attach you to a fast car, but... Right, what I would really like to do is, if this other safe is similarly heavy, attach the two together with rope. Let's see how that works out for us. What is the most game? This game is the most game, Horn Scipio. So what size of safe are we looking at? Oh, this is just a, a wee wimpy safe. No biggie. In fact, it's such a no biggie, I could just sling it over to there. Yeah, I do wonder where in development it was decided this should be a heist game. Feels like the original design would have been a creative destruction.
Right, so, unfortunately, there's no shelter here, unless I wanted to build a shelter. Oh, but, 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 what if there was no floor? Question I often like to ask. Then, well, there's nothing to worry about, is there? In fact, no, it probably, if it has an alarm that goes off to rain, it's probably an alarm that goes off to being submerged as well. But at least I can just, whee, over you go, and you're done and dusted. In fact, I could even just bring you over to where the other one, nah. Nah, I don't like that. It's way too far to go and it's not all covered. Okay, well that's one, two, three, four, five done. We just need to figure out how to take care of the sixth one. I don't know if it's a big chunky one or not, but overall this seemed very fun, but quite easy. We're not done yet, are we? But the other one looked really hard and we got it done in one shot. Nope, just a baby one again. The complication here being that there's no real easy way to... Hmm. What's behind this wall? Or wall. Not the answer I was hoping for, but perhaps the one I should have expected. I was hoping there was some way I could shelter the thing. Hang on. We've got a flatbed here. On reflection, this is probably what I should have used from the start, but it doesn't matter. It's what we have now. Okay, flatbed. We need to assemble some kind of way to move this thing around. With cover. Let's keep that door open. Oh, oh, oh. You hurt my flatbed. Okay, well, whatever. This one we could probably just do with planks. Since everything else is sorted, I can happily just spend all my planks. It's vibrating with glee. Uh, glee. Hmm, all right, well, should be simple as that, really. Couldn't I drag the big safe onto this thing? Make it even easier to just... We oh my god, this was here all along! <laughs> oh well, sticking with the tools of the trade. quite under the shelter though, is it? No. No, it is certainly not. Wow, I didn't think they'd put um, such a convenient lorry there. It kind of trivializes the mission. Maybe I'm just being bitter, probably. There's still roof there, it's okay. get exposed too badly to the water here. Pretty please. I said please. Yeah, it must have been 50% over the water then. Yeah, I wonder if I can still do this. Oh, that's a no. Not if you're out like that. Oh well. 
Yeah, I could have just flung this into the uh, the other vehicle and be done. Done like dinner. Can I just cover you in crap? That seems like it would cover enough of the rain. Where's where's the vehicle part of this vehicle? Also, I don't think it does cover enough of that. Jolly good. Is there a safer place to dunk you? Yeah, over here. That way it can be by the rain and I can just weak it over. Very well. Let's go. I hate that truck over there so much. Why does it have to be here? Making all my well-laid plans completely pointless. So I could have just turf them into that already covered vehicle. All right, well, there we go. Now it's just a case of having them ready to be turfed. It's quite nice though. It's nice that not all of them are a race against the, uh, the timer. Some of them are just puzzle your way out of it sort of affairs. Now, I can just throw them in, but... Well, why not? Okay, so those three, and then those three, and then out we go. What's their story, though? They're, uh, I didn't detach them yet, so I probably shouldn't... Probably shouldn't do it that way just yet. I wonder if I could stack them on top of each other so that it's an easier... Easier sell to just shove them in. Don't want them falling in just yet, though, so take care. So wonder if I couldn't. Ch oh wait, what if I blow them in with a bomb or something? Well, something to consider when I look at how the other ones are doing. And not to get too complacent, I should have a car to take me between the places, so I'm not taking forever to go. Mm, you're a speedy one. Okay, it's just superficial damage to the engine. So you're gonna swiftly take me over to the others, and just because I don't trust myself at all, we're gonna spray paint our way over. We're going the right way, right? Yeah. Need to cut down in costs. I can see why they wouldn't have security here. Now, my question would be, what's the easiest way to get all these things in here? I reckon it would just be backing this thing up and putting it at an angle so it just dumps the goods. Throwing all that stuff ahead of me reminds me of a game. I think it's Left 4 Dead. Alright, I needed one of these to get a bit of extra height. So we're a bit of a manlet. well, please. Hmm. Maybe in from the other end. Oh god, no. 
Oh, 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 a little too close for comfort, that. Right. Back it up a bit. Make space for your friend. All these fast cars and important documents and absolutely zero personnel security. Easy does it now. Easy does it. Out of here, just out of here enough. There we go. So now, just reverse and tip, and then over there to the escape vehicle. Lovely. Everything is planned. Let's get it done in one shot. It's hard to see how this could mess up. There's so little distance to travel. Alright, out you go, go. Oh, right, I was wondering if I could just blow this up with a bomb and chuck it in. Hmm, that could have its own risks. Yeah, nah, out you go. I feel so devilish doing that. Nah, say goodbye to the car as well. Nobody needs that. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh dearie me! You get the heck in here! Oh no. In you go. There we go. Even when things go wrong, be sure to have a backup plan. Phantom Sprayer strikes again. Like an untrained dog. That was swell. All the work was in the set. Well, most of them, the work's in the setup. But this one, execution wasn't a problem. Dunk the car. Oh, can you even see the car down there? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Yeah, two things going wrong there. One, the safe overshot the pool. And secondly, I fell into the pool and I couldn't jump out. But I quickly planked my way out. Turf the safe and just took a gentle jog over to my getaway boat. Nice hammer toss there, Jake. You cleared the swimming pool with a safe 10 out of 10. We're just that good, and hey, we get another new tool. It's certainly drowning us in the tools. Is it raining? Sounds like it is, but I don't think it is. We have got. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, I want some upgrades for this. Sadly, they're probably very expensive. Ah. Again, if you know the location of some good money artifacts, please let me know, because I want them. Oh, you can rocket jump! Also, low health slows you down. That's cool. Alright, rocket jump. Whee! Oh, hmm. Not even sure if you jump higher than if you just were to... Well, that certainly blasted me up high. Watch him forget about the... Alright, we'll upgrade the freaking blowtorch then. Oh. Good thing the computer survives that. Oh, it only goes up by 10. To think you only start out with 10, that is not a lot. Right. That little brat hit me again. You wouldn't believe the mess I came home to. It's going to take weeks to clean up and the insurance company won't even pick up the phone. I've had it with Lee. It's time to show him not to mess with the big boys. The chemical plant is his life. I'm going to put it out of operation. The power plant is the heart of the facility. I want it gone. It's a sturdy beast. I'll provide you with proper firepower to take out the main generator for good. Also take out all the auxiliary power and the plant might be shut off for a long, long time. Mm. Back we go to leak it. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight targets, eight objectives. Well, let's go then. This game really does feel like it's got everything, doesn't it? Is this the heavy ordnance? Hmm. Well, probably going to want to put this onto something. That's the escape vehicle, so that's not happening. So, tell me about the jobs here. Destroy this power station. Place the large bomb within the marked area by the damn turbines. Okay. Detonate. Do I have a detonator? Or do I just have to explode it with a minor ordnance? Oh well, good thing there's no security to just stop me dragging this big bomb. Thank you, Lee Chemicals. Come on, up and at him. We can get around this. What do you mean we can't get around this? Out of my way. I think I'm just going to have to go out and buy myself a nice sledgehammer after all this. It's really put me in the mood for some destruction. <laughs> Remember blowing this thing up? I certainly do. Oh, right, we should check and see if uh, this is how we detonate the bomb. Do we just use other explosives? No. There must be a detonator somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, we're taking jobs for both sides here. They both suspect it's each other destroying them, and I suppose it is. But we're also working for the corrupt police, because they caught us doing one of the jobs, so now we're doing work for them. We just work for hire, really. A mercenary at heart. It's my easiest way to get you up around here. Probably a crane. This is probably designed so that I can't easily bring you up. But I'm going to do it anyway, thanks to all that blowtorch upgrading that we did. Just get rid of the support, and it all comes dumbling down. Get out of here. Now up you come. I said up you come. Oh, maybe if I roll you up I'll have an easier time. Huh. Quite surprised at this. I might need a little crane helper to get you up here. Hmm, that's alright, I'm pretty sure there's a crane around here. Pretty sure there's a crane. Ah, there it is. Oh, crumbs. Guess we're swimming. Not a big fan of navigating the cranes because they're very delicate. Right, let's go. Don't snap in half this time, please. Fortunately, there's no collision with cables like that. There's certainly collision with trees, so let's avoid you. Hang on, how do I even get you around here? much too tight and that's in the way. Well, I guess we're going to be putting the delays on uh, the repair works on this then. We upgraded the blowtorch, might as well put that to use. This thing might be a little heavy. But it all goes tumbling down anyway. Maybe I could have used that to make some kind of bridge here, but we have other ways of bridging. <sighs> okay, they don't want to make this easy then, do they? Um, well, you know what? We have a crane. Why don't we use it for its intended purpose?
go, and out you go. Is it going to fit through here? Maybe. Positively. still feel like this crane should be able to extend. Right, that was a lot of work for very little. What if this thing automatically explodes? Let's not risk that. It said bring it to the designated area. Aha, there we go. This looks like a job for the planking, though. Just gently roll the thing over. Ooh, baby, that's close, but it works. Oh, don't break my planks and don't fall in the soup. Right, so for the purpose of Figuring this out, let's see what happens when we do detonate it. Alright, well in a sense that's adding a few more seconds onto our countdown timer. But it does mean we need to start from there and holy moly that is chugging. Let me help you out there. Awesome. Very awesome. Uh, let's see, because I also need to take care of you. Hmm. Okay, well, now we know. How long did that feel like? 10 seconds? Felt like 10 seconds to me. FG's concurs. Well, let's go and figure out what else we have to do. Again, there are eight whole targets here. Well, thankfully, one of them, I bet there's I bet there's something treasure-like in there. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seems like a pretty easy to figure out route to take. I'd start down here. But then again, we don't know if any of these things can be moved before they get destroyed. This thing isn't even optional, huh? But hang on. Oh Christ! Not what I was going for. I was reckoning I could launch a rocket over here. I still think I could. Oh, before we go, is there any treasure to be had here? I'd put treasure here. Where's my bleeding treasure? Hey, there we go. 74, $75 of Agent B4 Comics. Any more valuables? There we go. A wallet, or what's left of one. There's the question. Can we start that explosion from here? I reckon if we just like take out the glass work of it, if that even makes a change. Oh, there's dropping on this. That might actually make it easier to get to you. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Positioning is pretty much at this corner, aiming at the leftmost red out part. Sweet. 
Yeah, I would like to try shooting the helicopter with a rocket. Can't deny that. Alright, so what we're saying here, two, there. One to get rid of the wall. And then there should be one more to start it. Amazing. I still feel like there might be treasure over on that side, so I do want to investigate. You. Optimus Prime. Treasures await me in here. Bricklaying Master Award to L. Lee by the Guild of Brickies. Well, that's all well and good, but where's the treasure? Come on, there must be treasure here. I bet it's inside the building somehow. Must be very far inside. Come on, they wouldn't put this here and not have treasure. Hmm. The only treasure was that connection. <laughs> Uh, okay, perhaps it's inside the statue itself. Shove one right up his arse. Where's my freaking treasure? this. There must be some treasure here. You wouldn't have this over here just to have nothing, would you? Maybe I'm going to have a later mission to destroy that statue. Oh, that's lame. Just cost six Scotland treasure hunts. <laughs> Now that would be a good uh, type of game. It's it's pretty much this, but it's just turned into a treasure hunt. Can make it multiplayer as well. Random generated uh, treasure positions. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, that's these two done and dusted. So what else? Is everything just destroy? Yeah, I think it is just destroy, so timing is going to be everything here. Timing and setup. Unless there's something that can be pulled away before it's destroyed. Oh ho. If I only had remote controlled explosives, it would make timing this a whole lot easier. But no, looks like I've got to take care of you. Again, a well placed rocket would take care of you, no problem. Wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, no sweat. But I've only got six rockets, so I have to make them count. And there's dropping on the rockets, so it's not a given. So it would be hit, detonate, shoot, la 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 la. Shoot again to take that one out. And then I'm going to have about 55 seconds to take care of one, two, three, four, five things to destroy. So let us consider how we're going to do that. One nice possibility is rigging up um, explodable things rather than strictly explosives. And then taking a single shot with the gun. And I could use planks or non-planks. The cables, that is. To keep them in place. Is this something I have to destroy? No, it's a diesel generator. I thought I had to destroy this chimney for some odd reason. Uh, diesel generator. Well, you're behind here, no doubt. So let's just pop. 
And then we should have easy access to you. Can I remove you? Or are you going to... You look like you're alarmed, so if I do remove you, you're going to throw a hissy fit. Still, though, is that within range to feel this? No, not quite. Still, though, there should be explosives that I can rig up and just shoot you once with here, like this. And just in case I am a terrible shot, I'll make it a bigger target. I'll also have all these piled up in case I want to use one elsewhere. But there we go, and if there's a little less debris in the way... Fewer bits of wall to stop me. Then it should just be a case of pop, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> Take out the chimney, ruin this poor bastard's Christmas. <laughs> These people haven't have been having a good time of it, have they? It's okay. They brought it on themselves. So that's one, two, three, four down. What's this? An electrical transformer. Surely that's on the outside. Can I not just, like, pop shot that thing? Well, not if I'm not shooting the right thing. Ah, there you are. Oh, wow, that's easy to take out. I don't even need the rocket launcher. Single bullet destroying an entire transformer. Doesn't seem likely, but there you go. So once that's done, really it's just walk, shoot that, shoot that. Destroy that. Ah, I knew I was going to want a bridge here. I had a chance and destroyed it. Well, maybe there's still hope. Oh, well, maybe not. I mean, I can still run over to here. Costs me about an extra second, I think, but it gets me across. And then I need to take you out. Best is that done. Hmm. Must be sledged? No. Music's feeling a bit RimWorld to me. Oh, not as planned. I'd rather throw a pipe bomb at it if I can just take out the the wall ahead of time so I don't need to get close to it. But perhaps the blowtorch can help with that. There's also the shotgun that's seen an alarming lack of use lately. Something's still holding you up, is it you? Yeah. Okay, Ruby, and I want to make sure that pipe bombs actually work for this. Actually, does gun work? Wow! Okay, gun is being used for most of this mission. I didn't want to waste the time walking towards the wall to plant a bomb to walk away zombie ant. That felt like one and a half seconds of inefficiency. Not that this looks like a particularly difficult mission. The only downside is that I'm walking most of the way. And walking is slow. It does afford a bit more control though. Jumping in and out of cars isn't easy. What the heck is on fire? Asks man who has been blowing up indiscriminately. From there, there's just two easy ozy things. Switch gear station and a transformer. Transformer, we just gun. And is this the switch geary thing? I think it is. Now that's just asking for a pipe bomb thrown at it, unless a bullet works just as well. That's kind of unbelievable. Everything in here is just one shot, one kill. 
still, I would like to give myself a nice big open area to hit. Alright, and then I suppose the getaway, getaway car is in the usual position. I would like to just drive through here, but this building is in the way. What if it wasn't? That gives me a good bit of extra space to drive a car through. Excellent. Easy now. I don't want anyone to know that I've been here. Right, this needs to not be here as well. Oh! Got a little too cocky there and tripped over my own mine. Tripped over my own pipe bomb. It's okay, I get the fun of tearing down that building again. There we go, much better. Okay, bombs, let's go. Amazing. Gone so it doesn't flip my car. It's this kind of thing that I'd love to see a speed run for. You'd have to think quick, what if something you're, you're planning for your getaway doesn't work, like you planned it down to your last shotgun shell, you whiff the shot and this thing's still here. Sure they're doing planning for SGDQ or ESA. Does any of that have teardown involved? Or are there public um, timetables for it yet? Hopefully they're being done in person again. There's some speedruns on YouTube, yeah, but it's not the same. Oh wow, this car is... I think I'd be faster running. Right, only thing is to uh, spray out the locations. I should... Yeah, this is, this is my escape plan. Might actually be a little tight on the timing since I'm running everything. Walking is slow. Okay, but aside from that... That'll let me know that I need to shoot over there. Tells me to take care of that. If there was just significantly less wall here, I could probably cut out a bit of the running around obstacles, but hey-ho. Was I even going there? I mean, isn't there a considerably more direct route? Yeah, I feel like I could just come along here instead. And I have loads of planks, so since we know that we don't need a whole lot of those. Just give ourselves a route over here. Nice, can lay a plank beneath you as you jump. Sidoodle. Hopefully I don't miss that. I'll tell you what, you are part of the problem. 
Now that becomes the brightest thing that catches my eye. Hardest part is remembering all the targets here. Good thing they give you the spray can. Make this as if it isn't obvious enough. Shoot there. I wonder if I can just take that thing down in one shot. Maybe I didn't need the explosives. Well, it doesn't matter. We used the explosives. Amazing. Right. That's good, that's good. In fact, I suppose that's everything we need, isn't it? Now it's all down to the execution. We put down circles to spray point at spots to take shots from. That's what I'm doing the offshoot arrows for. Now, rocket launch will be the first big bad. I don't think I hit you. Oh, I did! I certainly did! <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. Oh well, still got the rocket launcher out. Might as well have some fun with it. This might be tight. That was a lot of faffing around. Nah, just believe. No, I've got to run out. That's not inspire belief. Pop. There's two more to go. It's fine, they're both over here. Farewell. Oh Christ, where was the other one? You. I think it's immune to the rockets. Sadly. All right. I wouldn't say flawlessly, there were certainly flaws there. So we got it done. Has he gotten better at planning or is he just displaying the same persistence as with a fine art heist says Ashes? And they think that answers their question. Don't know in what way though. And the arrows work, they cause confusion. Pop. Round I go. Was I confused there or something? I missed one of these arrows though when I was wondering. Yeah, that, that little offshoot over there to the right. I missed that and got confused, fortunately. Stopped there, looked, shot, and off we trot. Wonderful. Wish I got paid more for these though. Or really paid at all. The only money I make is stealing wallets and things. Streetmaster. Get ready for what? Oh! Yeah, they must be immune to to my stuff here. Either that, or you meant to use a shotgun. Ah! Very cool. Enough of that. Let's get them all. Can't be satisfied with that. I didn't upgrade the range of this thing, so once they get a certain distance away, it makes no odds. Getting there. Air. I definitely shot that one there. I even saw bits flying off of it. What are you playing at, game? How can this be? Flawless. Where's my achievement? Where's my anything? There we go, that's what you get.
Coming home. Hmm, no new tools or anything? At least I got a bit of cash, but I wanted to invest that cash in more rockets. Rockets cost money. Oh well. The first thing Max comes in in the chat is nice saying, Why, thank you. I did do pretty nice. I almost choked on my espresso when I turned on the news. Hilarious. I've been giggling all morning. Turns out that bomb worked even better than I planned. Great work. I've been going through Blue Tide computers. I'm onto something. This might be bigger than I first thought. Because way deeper than just Lee. Blue Tide is controlled by someone mis uh, named Mr. Aminatides. There's no official records. He doesn't exist. A lot of information is deleted. I remember seeing satellite dishes. Da 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 da. Didn't appreciate the last visit. Blue Tide has filed a security report for an armed guard helicopter. Is this the only thing we have to do here then? How many dishes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm surprised at the lack of open-endedness of this. I think there's only been two opportunities to take uh, two different tasks, but in the end you do them both anyway. Any oh, right, no, this is one. We've got motivational reminder. Did I miss that message? Ah, here it is. I'm happy with our fruitful collaboration. Perhaps we deepen our relationship. Motivational reminders, marketing technique that we sometimes employ for key customers. He's hesitating to include his propane tanks in his policy. A friendly reminder on why it's a good idea to nudge him in the right direction. I don't run Gordon's account. Mm hmm. I'll make sure you're properly compensated. Ah. I think they do compensate me. All my money is just by, yeah, finding hidden valuables. Perhaps I'm just investing my money in my homes. Straight away, these wooden doors aren't free. Alright, let's grab the, uh, it'll ottle black bottle, it'll ottle out. Uh, nah, side mission. Doing it all here. Right. What's in the cards on this mission? I like this map. Mostly because I couped over an entire... An entire lighthouse to make it work last time. And I still feel like there's some kind of treasure that I'm missing here. I came down here. This looks like it's hiding something. Don't suppose anybody knows something I don't here. Did I go through here? Yeah, I think it just led to outside, didn't it? Mm-hmm. In that tunnel that you spawn in, there's an air vent in the roof. Go up it. Cheers, big ears. Air vent. Ooh. Didn't even notice you. You blended right in. So, if I had to guess, you've got to do some kind of expert planking. Fortunately, that's exactly what I am. It's okay, sometimes you can just clip your way through that. No? No? Okay. Never mind then. Uh, i got a better idea. Let's give ourselves a bit of a wider... Hold on, is this indestructible? Inconceivable. Right, seems like this is going to need some sort of hardcore planking. Good thing we bought a lot of those. Probably have to plank beneath myself, thankfully. You can jump and do that. Well, sometimes. Yeah, maybe I did this at the wrong time of day. It's hard to see here. Okay, kind of. Let's just keep ourselves up here. No, that just down warped me, not up warped me. Or did it? 
considerably easier if I could jump or something. There we go. Oh my. Is that gold? Well, don't mind me, $1,500 of gold bullion, $400 of cash, and what is your story? Probably on the inside of the vault. Oh yeah, that would make a bit of sense. Maybe there's a different side to this. Okay, so it's going to be completely surrounded by indestructible, except for going through the air vent. Which uh, maybe you like blow this up and you kind of see that in the corner and figure it all out. Possibly, I was never figuring that one out though. Yeah! That's fine though, should restart it since I used some resources on that. Actually, I could upgrade my rocket launcher. With all that sweet dosh. Do want that rocket launcher upgraded. More rounds and Oh man. How can I say no to more rockets? I can't. More rockets and more explosive rockets. Goodbye, my home. It was nice knowing you. Impressive structural integrity of this thing. <laughs> See, we all just need a bit more sunlight in our lives. And fewer treadmills. I'm wondering if this whole thing could be brought down. Might be a little hard to do now, but we can try. Mm, I think there's still some bits here and there holding it up, and it probably held up on that side. Yeah, thanks to this auxiliary part. Yeah, aren't they just their Von City? Who would have thought a game like this could look so good? The voxels are one thing, but the the way they do the the fire, the smoke, and the rain. And the extinguisher I could take or leave. Anyway, let's get to that mission. Thankfully, my computer must be a Dell or something. It's indestructible. Let's go and do that friendly reminder. So what's our job here? It's destroying lots and lots of propane tanks. Assumedly destroying even one is going to set off the alarm. This should be easier <sighs> than the other mission we did in this place. That other mission was pretty hardcore. But we still got it done in one. Don't forget that. 
We haven't built a lighthouse bridge in a while. We did it very recently, Marvin, but... It did say that one of them is inside the... How'd you get? It did say that one of them is inside there. Did I just carry myself over on that bed? It's kind of cool. Whee! Nineteen meters above, so maybe coping over you is a good idea. Again. Almost. Hey, come now. We can't be too overt. I don't use pipe bombs much, so I'll try to get some of that done. What's still holding you up? That might have been it. That might have been it. I kind of want to crush myself under this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have saved there. Uh-oh. Maybe I can cushion its fall somehow. It worked. Okay. Okay. Well, at least you're down here on easy to destroy level. Yeah. Easy does it. I just need a good shot on this thing. There we go. A well-placed rocket, or even just single shot, is all I need to take you out, but... Get a very clear target, then I gotta shoot a rocket towards there. And I suppose that's the most painful one taken care of. I wonder if this guy already had lighthouse insurance. I do have a lot of rockets, it's worth remembering. Pretty strong though, I feel like Doom Guy with all the stuff I've got on me. Can I have that? No, okay. Hmm. You're another pain in the butt. Tucked away in the corner there. But again, a well-placed rocket that just kind of goes through here would be great. Ah, I used up all my bombs, didn't I? Not all of my bombs. There we go. Now I've got a nice large area to just casually shoot a rocket through to. Kind of. Anybody shot shotguns at brick walls? I can't help but feel that the damage being caused here is an exaggeration, but I wouldn't know better. Right, just kind of sweep away some of the debris. Oh, let's not have some fire. out of destruction things, you can't just throw things at other things to cause destruction. This game can really do with... Yeah, a leaf blower. Leaf blower would be a great addition to this game, just to clear up the debris. Anyway, 
Only other thing is I don't like you being in the way, but surely an explosion would take care of this. Yep. Alright, sweet. There's my exit vehicle, so I might be best going dup 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 dup. Yeah, just get everything prepped. Depending on the grain and all, a brick wall absorbs more than ricocheting, even if they, of course, happen. I'm not into guns, so I don't know these kinds of things. Oh, I hope this is inside a storage container. No, it's not. It's down here. Yoink. Down here. I'd certainly start my rampant destruction from here because that looks like it's inviting a rocket over there and then a rocket over there and then I just need to yeah okay let's let's actually start it with this idea Okay, and then from here, I need to take care of that. You are six meters above me, so we need some cheeky way up and over to you. Not that I'm thinking of using something as blasé as the front door, but I want to know exactly where it is. Are you it? You are it. Okay. How about we climb up through here? Then we can pop up and out. Yes. I wonder if there's a way that I could just plank up to here. Doesn't does seem a little high, but bombs, help me out here. Whoa, Jinx, No need to be that dramatic. What I am going through here. I'd be happier if all this wall wasn't here so I could just quick shot it over there and then vamoose out through this end into a vehicle perhaps even to get me over to there quicker because that looks like a nice rampy bit up. Yes, pipe bombs. Very nice. Yeah, out here. Hopefully I have some kind of vehicle over here, and then that'll go wherever it's going to go. Still doesn't answer how I get up to there, though. Have you tried moving tanks after blowtorching their holdings? I am quite certain that they are booby-trapped, but, you know, Marvin, you could well be right. Let's investigate. When I see something blinking like that, I just assume it's going to uh, be unhappy with me for simply moving it, but... Well, damn, Marvin. Oh, Christ, Marvin. What's that all about? Maybe this caused some undue friction. Huh. Well, how about that? I could just pile them all up in one place. That seems a little too easy. Ah, a little too easy. And yeah, some scary stuff. Right, blowtorch, let's do this. No messing around.
Maybe I should be putting them into something that can move them around considerably more secure than I can. Success isn't built on maybes. Go! Okay, that was that was part of that. That is that is making me jump here. It's almost like you can feel it in your face. Right, so let's make absolutely sure we're taking out that. Not just part of the uh What are you still attached on? There we go. Take out that and not the explodey thing itself. Let's not hit too many things with it. They don't like that. Slam. Slam. All right. That's these two next to each other. I wonder if I can do the same with the other one. Although I did just give myself this lovely area to flank to. Shotgun again. Oh, and save, of course. Nah, don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I just didn't want to switch weapons. Feeling pretty clever for upgrading the blowtorch blow though. It hasn't seen much use prior to this, but now it does. Now, do I really want to... No, I think I just want this in an easy-to-shoot location, so I can just slam it when it's over there. It would be nice to just get all of them together, though. It's just, when it's high up, feels like a bit of a liability to take out like that. Pop, pop, pop. Actually, why even why even bother with that? I can just drag it over there so it's a quick shot. I mean, that's to come up and around here. Although that does mean I need to drag it through to here. Uh huh. Okay, that's fine. It's just a little explosion. Still good. Yeah, I suppose I could roll it down the little ramp that I made. These things just seem awfully prone to exploding. I used to handle a lot of gas canisters as a kid, and none of them particularly felt dangerous. Alright, down we go. Down we go, okay. Easy. Well, that's three taken care of. Out of, hmm, lots. But still, that's all of these ones over here. I could just, like, run, bang, 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 rocket in that general direction, and then speed away. If I don't feel like doing all of these, and I'm not sure I do fancy moving them all around that much. Well, nobody cared about it because it didn't have any alarm set to it, of course. That's what people care about. See, now that spray paint is going to be redundant, people are going to think I'm changing my ammo here. Love how much of a tool the shotgun is here. Ah. 
wonder if I could roll that over to the edge so it's just a quick shot away to take care of this rooftop. It's my food. Take care of the rooftop propane tank. Of the rooftop? Where's the rooftop access? This looks like it. Music's getting all weird and not befitting the game at all now. Don't know what's up with that. Strange choice. This feels like music that would follow a harrowing level following some great reveal. Something like, we were just imagining all the emails that are being sent to us were nothing but a monster, and... There have been people here that were blowing up as well, we just didn't realise it. Yeah, something like that. Maybe I have to plank my way up. Feeling real glad I increased the ri uh... Feeling real glad I increased the... Length of those things. Now where are you at? Delicately. How expensive could propane tanks be that it would be reasonable to- uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mm. Oh well. So, scan shall we? Coming here without an upgraded blow tank would be delicate. I suppose you could use the gun on this. Oh, not again. <laughs> Maybe I should use the gun on this. Oh, well now. Mm -mm. Considerably more delicate here. Okay. Now I want to be able to just pop this thing from a distance, so it seems prudent to have it half dangling off the edge here. Big red target. Is this really where I'd want to be shooting it from? Because I would, I can just... Mm, no, I don't think so. I'd probably want to shoot it from over here. I mean, not that it matters much. I'm... But I'll still make it matter. Over you come. Ten meters below? Bit of an ask. Nice arcade machine still here. It's the same level, I've just gone way past it. Again, no sense of orienteering. Ah, hello. You're in an awkward space, aren't you? Easy does it now. Easy does it. Easy does it. Hmm. 
Maybe I should just roll it over to, or drag it over to one of these things. Get it to a better location. Well, last bomb. Make it matter. Thank you, bomb. <laughs> Easy now. Don't want this thing to pop on me. At least it's nice and light. Oh, okay. Maybe a little too light. I wonder if they take damage, as in every time I'm thwacking it, it's adding to a bit of its damage, and then... Then just one little tap will eventually do it in. I mean, it does look a bit razzled, doesn't it? If I had you against the wall neck wait. No, that's me. That's four meters below. I know where that is. We managed to, or we needed to go through it previous. Previously. Let's try and get a two for one here. Nicely does it. Now this thing might be a bit further in than I suspected. Yeah. Wait, what the heck is... Oh, that's the, the sugar power thinger, isn't it? I don't think I fully understand the implications here, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that there shouldn't be a wall here. Throwing up a something at a wall that's going to disappear. So this should be a two for one deal. Pop that, they both go. Nothing else on fire here, is there? No, good. So I can just shoot you from there. I didn't check out your story, but that can't be too hard. Two for one, we know where you are, and just blow that up. So as long as I find out where that last one is, this should be good to go. If I had to guess each voxel has a wear value and kinetic energy adds to it when it hits a number it triggers, but it is only a guess. I mean just below then, I don't want to go too far up here, do I? Goodness, if I just had some kind of mini-map or something, I wouldn't be quite so disastrously lost every time I move. A few voxels. I'm still below, so I'm high up. Do I want to be going through this or something? Possibly. Let's take the baby forklift and try to remove this wall. Oh, affirmative. Very cool. So, how will we do it then? I reckon I am somewhere around here. I take a shot at that, jump down, pop that, pop those two, run in and destroy you. The question is how I get to there from here. Could always just run up there and pop that, and then as long as I make my getaway, we're all good. This is going to have far less planning than the other ones, because I don't actually find this mission that interesting. Ever since we discovered that we can move the propane tanks, it lost its luster. Alright, so the question is how to deal with you. Oh, I can't ride this boat. Oh, I don't think I've checked these for valuables. This is so scummy. Oh, that was it. Gimme. Precision fishing scale. 
I just need to rocket that. I'm starting to wonder if I could do that from one hell of a distance. Perhaps even from here. I'll be popping you, and then it's just a case. Maybe I could thread the needle for you. Let's take a pot shot at it. Perfect. So, all right. I reckon we got everything we need then. Except I haven't done any spray canning, so. Oh well, let's make it matter. Oh man, I bet I could get it from here. Trick shot! What a trick shot! Wait, I didn't get both of them. Oh no. What a waste. Where the heck am I going now? I've only got three of them. We're oh, crumbs, I missed, I missed that altogether. Yeah, I forgot to drop down and hit you. Well, unless I get one hell of a shot arcing over to the uh, the ones that I set up over there somewhere. I don't think this one's happening. Also, I don't remember where the escape vehicle is. <laughs> Snipe the pilot there. Okay, right, that would have worked perfectly if I... Hadn't completely missed one of them. Yeah, I completely forgot about you. What was your story? Couldn't I just rocket launch you from here? Apparently not. Pipe bombs? It is over there, right? Oh, it's further to the back than I thought. Yeah, there you are. Can I get up here for a dastardly escape? Yeah, that's right. Prop it, prop it up like that. Oh, it seems so. It was there, doing something like that. Uh oh. Am I not getting these? What the? Maybe they're already counting as, uh, as done. Is it still there? There we go. Oh, it's not looking good for this. Nope, not happening. Not happening! Woo! Yeah, that was sloppy. The first time I don't use some proper forward thinking and careful planning, and it comes down to the hair. I didn't get it. I, I thought I hadn't gotten these um, these propane tanks. I kept shooting at them until I checked the counter. I went, oh, okay, we have. Must have wasted 10 seconds down there or more. Still feels good to take out the lighthouse once again. Terrible display. Nothing I can be proud of there. 
Okay, wow, Cracker Jack. And we get another thing. Hey! I only wanted this forever ago. Why make me wait for this? Or why make me wait for any of them? Can I upgrade it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can't quite blow these weights around, but these weights are hard enough to lift as they are. Not enough to break glass, sadly. But hey, blowing these things around is pretty swell. Jings, if I had a leaf blower, no end to the things I'd be blowing around. I can make an impact on you. Hell yeah. Jake, you have some unaccepted missions in your mailbox. Let's have a look-see. Oh! Lock L Home Guard, this looks new. Covert Chaos and... Humiliating, ridiculous, undersized racetrack he keeps in his backyard to pretend to be a race driver. Wouldn't it be funny if he found a new track record? Hmm, by the way, those paintings you helped me earlier, they didn't make it through the thunderstorm. Burned up every single one. What are the odds? My comfort is at least Gordon doesn't have them either. Okay, so now we've got to beat him at speeding around in a car. Strange mission for a game like this. A massive assortment of dishes, that's the satellite dish one. Oh right, yeah, the Evertides Mall, the very first one we did where we leveled that house. Good times. Are there any more that I haven't accepted? There's that satellite dishes. That's just laughing about the destruction. Nice job with the paintings, a little charred. I'll find someone to retouch them. He won't know the difference. Alright, very good. So we've at least got three more to go. And we'll be taking care of those next time because I have the feeling this game isn't particularly long. I don't know, maybe it got, uh, maybe it added a whole lot more than I realized, but I reckon we might be able to get this game done and dusted tomorrow. So that's what we'll set out for. I will take the stream down. I will be back in how long? Uh, about two hours, and I'll be back with some Caesar 3, because I've got a brand new map coming in. Called Toga Boy. And we'll get to do a three-way prediction on this one, I think, now that they've added new prediction things. Anyway, all that to look forward to, but me, I'm going to make myself some late lunch or early dinner. So until we're back with Toga Boy in Caesar 3, it's a cheers and a cheerio.